Hey, what's up, Brady? Quick demo video for you for your Subversion Hilt. Uh, this was originally made by TJ Wells over Ignition Saber Company and Gary Morris. That was the team up for the Saber. And then uh, you sent this over to Christopher Royal over at Royal Custom Armory. And he did the powder coating on, on here for you. It came out really nice. You had asked about the switch section, so I wanted to show you that up close. Um, a lot of times on the pictures that I post on Facebook and Instagram, I will play around with the contrast a little bit just to darken the background and kind of bring out the details of the saber. But sometimes that can look like there are some imperfections in the saber when there aren't. So as you can see, uh, the powder coating on this switch section and I mean also on the entire saber is flawless. All right, it looks really nice. So two buttons set up. Your back switch here will be your power, your dome tactile. Your front dome tactile will be your auxiliary. Um, there is a real quartz crystal in there. It's a double pointed crystal. It's got uh, nine neopixel accents on the bottom and then a, a, a single neopixel accent on the top. So a total of 10 accents for this crystal chamber. And I'll show you how I lit that up here in a second. I got all your sound fonts on here. You're running a Carl Chin uh, neopixel PCB. And then uh, to get to your chassis, it does take a little bit. All right, so what you want to do first is take off your pommel. So we'll just unscrew the pommel here. When you do that, you'll see your 28 millimeter smoke dot post elite speaker. So that stays there. And then you'll want to come over here and take off these two screws. All right. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. I don't have them on here very tight. They have been powder coated to match the saber. Um, but they still come off fine. All right. So we'll take those off real quick. Once you take both of those off, you can take this shroud and slide it back. That's why you had to take the pummel off first. All right, and then you've got your profi board here. This does have a removable battery set up. So your spring side or your negative side of your battery will actually go over here by your speaker. And you can get to everything from here. This is the provided chassis that came with the Sabre kit when you buy it. All right, so that's what I used here. Um, we'll throw a battery in this guy. Again, we'll slap this back on. So just slide the shroud back on. Uh, for the sake of the demo, I'm not going to use the screws because it is pretty tight with the battery in there, but you will want to come through and put both of those back on. <clears throat> and then lastly, go ahead and screw on your pummel. All right. And if I turn this off, you can see I have all of these sound fonts. I have the crystal chamber doing a little something different when the saber's off. I'm going to come over here and turn it on. Very loud saber. I did give you twist off. I'm going to use a TriStar blade to test this out, but it is set up for a full length blade. So you'll just want to make sure to back out your blade retention. You've only got one. Located right here. Okay, so you got a single blade retention. Fire it up. One more time.
Skywalker. Very loud. You can feel the vibration all the way up the handle from the sound. Every one of your sound fonts has a soundtrack, so just do a long press on the power when the saver's off. And another long press to turn it off. Whoops, not long enough. Just like that. And I think your last sound font is Sons of Corellia. Son of Corellia, rather. Just like that. All right, we'll go ahead and take the blade out and go over taking the battery out as well. So you will want to take the battery out of this guy when you're done with it. We'll pop the blade out real quick. You have two different blade plugs that came with this. Um, I'll make sure they both get put back in your box. But your first one looks like this. And then your second one looks like this. This looks like uh, one that Chris made for you. So I'll go ahead and I'll pop this one in real quick. Lock it down so I don't forget it, and of course the other one will, the other one will be in your box. You'll see it easy enough. All right. But when we're done, we'll go again. Unscrew our pummel. <clears throat> Take off those two screws that we left out earlier, so we can slide the shroud back. And then from the positive side of the battery over here by your crystal chamber, you should be able to pop it out with your finger just like that. Um, and that is basically your subversion. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to get this out in the mail to you by tomorrow. Thanks.